Team USA celebrated a gymnastics gold medal last night in London. In Peoria, Team USA 1960 member Teresa Montefusco Greer was gushing with pride and yelling at the TV. Yes! <laughs> there aren't words to explain um, how excited I am for them. I feel like uh, they've just come so far and they're just so exciting and so amazing to watch. It's a high for me. Teresa does not miss any of the Olympic gymnastics action, but as she watches the 2012 Olympics, she knows it's a whole different game than back in 1960. Well, everything has changed so much. Um, training, um, equipment, their skills, everything. And uh, much, much more difficult than what it was in 1960. One thing has not changed, the incredible pressure of representing your country at the Olympics, especially in gymnastics. It is a lot of pressure, um, and, and any competition is a lot of pressure, but you have no idea what that pressure is at the Olympics. After the pressure of the 1960 Olympics, Teresa Montefusco Greer retired at the age of 19. I had been to the top. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Um, and I just wanted to have a normal life, and I hadn't had that. Teresa has had a wonderful life in Peoria, one of the highlights, yes. watching her mm -hmm. team win gold last night. they become big stars. Were you a big star in 1960? Was the gymnastics team a big deal back then? Not really. Women's gymnastics uh, hadn't uh, turned the corner yet. Um, it wasn't popular like it is now at all. Um, Little Orga uh, Corbett right. and uh, Nadia Komenich right. are the two women gymnasts that really turned that around. Well, and I, I'm, I'm pretty good friends with Justin Spring from University of Illinois, and he, he won a bronze medal at the Olympics. And he always he tells me he hated the Olympics, that it was so much pressure, that when, when you only have it every four years, he said, I could compete at any competition knowing that oh, there's always next year, there's next meet. But he said the Olympics is... And when you see, like, Jordan the other day, I mean, it, it's... It, oh, that was sad. I mean, how, how, did, how did you do it, and how, is it too much for these kids? How did you handle that pressure? It is a lot of pressure, um, and, and any competition is a lot of pressure, but you have no idea what that pressure is at the Olympics, and, and you don't know, because if uh, you're, it's your first Olympics, every, everything you do is a first for you, and... Uh, it is a tremendous amount of pressure. Is the sport getting better? Is it better than it was in 1960? Oh my gosh, by leaps and bounds, you know, everything has changed so much. Um, training, um, equipment, their skills, everything. It, it is just completely different and uh, much, much more difficult than what it was in 1960. Were you expected to make the team? Were you... How big a thrill was it to make it in 1960 out of Peoria? Oh my gosh, I couldn't even believe it happened for me. <laughs> um, because I had really only been training in gymnastics for a year and a half. Wow. Before that time, I was strictly um, specialized in tumbling. That was it. But I had taken a lot of dance. My parents put me in uh, Dentino, the Dentino School of Dance uh, okay. when I was five. Wow. So Florex was uh, very easy for me because I was such a strong tumbler and I had such a strong background in dance. That came easy and vault came very easy for me because, again, I was a strong tumbler. And uh, the two events that I really struggled with were beam and bars, especially bars. I, they were not my favorite <laughs> by far, but... Um, after 1960, did you continue to compete? I didn't. You I, did not. I didn't want any more pressure. Because it was too much, or you just had been to the top? I had been to the top. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Um, and I just wanted to have a normal life. And I hadn't had that at all. I mean, I just gave up my childhood, you know, basically. And um, I just wanted to have a normal life when I came home. Perfect. Look at how high she is. Whoa! <laughs>
and the landing, oh my gosh.